Ava Airborne is a side-scrolling flying game designed around staying in flight as long as possible, in a variety of different ways. At the start of Ava Airborne, you get propelled into the air instantly, teaching you on the go as to how to actually stay afloat. Holding down on the screen keeps you in the air, whereas letting go will rapidly force you to drift down to your death. Along your path are a variety of obstacles and pickups. Some will reward you with points to spend later, whereas others are obstacles to cause you death and destruction, or even give you a huge speed boost to shunt you forward. There's very little explanation for any of the obstacles actually do, however, you just need to smack into them incredibly quickly and try it for yourself. Surprisingly, this isn't actually frustrating. There's so much variety in the types of obstacles that it doesn't really ever feel boring. Jump pads that also knock you back with fans if you approach from the wrong side, incredibly deadly balloons that kill you, static shock lines hanging from the sky, physical barriers of only one path through. It feels like an unending amount of destruction to avoid. It's not especially difficult to avoid them, however, it really only requires a decent amount of coordination. However, it's the sheer frequency with which these obstacles appear in your path, as well as the breakneck pace you fly through the clouds, that forces you to constantly try to avoid everything as fast as you can. The inclusion of positive items along the way, such as rings you need to fly through or points to pick up, forces you to consider whether or not you should be avoiding something or deliberately smashing into it. The most interesting aspect of Ava Airborne is the fact that flying mechanisms are different depending on what flying vehicle you use. You can purchase new types of flying machines in the shop between levels, using points you've gathered as currency. These flying machines are vastly different in how they play. At the start you're holding down the screen, causing you to fly upwards and forwards. However, the second vehicle you buy allows you to slingshot Spider-Man style across the map, pivoting off points in the skyline as you race past and fly through obstacles. Though it seems incredibly cool to do flying like Spider-Man across the map, it isn't intrinsically better than other methods, it's just simply different. This ability to fly in a variety of different ways has a great deal of variety and different styles of play, making each level of Ava Airborne feel fresh and interesting. Other Airborne starts out as a seemingly simplistic flying game, smashing into things and dodging others, but with the inclusion of many different flying mechanisms, as well as lots of things to avoid and pick up, the game turns into something so much more. Other Airborne manages to take a simple concept and make it interesting and intriguing, keeping you coming back for more.